Good morning, everybody. It is March the 6th, 2022. This is going to be special, at least I believe that this is going to be special. We're going to do a lot of spiritual love fair work today. We're going to do that work. We will have a healing circle for ourselves and for our own personal intentions. You don't have to worry about the Ukraine and Russia intention because that's what we're gonna be working with the spiritual love fair. And I knew somebody was gonna come in, somebody different. And um, Cleo had said, we're all waiting to see who that is. Who is gonna be this new being? Well, I didn't know. And then as soon, of course, as we asked, it comes in, every country has a guardian that works with them. Actually, every business has a guardian that works with them. Every household, even if it's a one person household or it's a large household, has a guardian that works with them. We're going to hear from the guardian of the Ukraine. Now, I don't know if the guardian of Russia will come in or not. I got the word no, not because they're not welcome, but because this is to focus on the Ukraine today. Okay, I was going to say, let me say this before we do this. And Alma said, no, do the heart source first. And the reason to do the heart source is that you, the heart source assists you in knowing the truth. What is the truth of what you're hearing? It, it enables you to be able to read between the lines. It's like if you're reading a newspaper and you're reading a story. When you're in your heart source, you might go, yeah, something doesn't feel right about this. This isn't quite right. And you may get some information that gives you more information, the reading between the lines part. And I hope everybody here knows that you don't trust your media, right? They always leave something out, put a different slant on it, or add something that really isn't necessary. So you be in your heart source and to know what you may not know exactly what it is that isn't right, but just know that what you're hearing may not be the same of, as what is actually happening in third dimensional reality. And also being in the heart source keeps you out of fear. So everyone, heart source, say heart source. Move, for those of you who aren't as familiar with it, move into the front of your heart chakra there in the center of your chest. By that I mean, bring your awareness to the front where the heart chakra is and feel yourself. And you can do it with your breath. Breathe in and go into that area. And now go around to your back and go to the back of your heart chakra through your back Breathe into that area and go deeply within. You'll come either to what you could call a, har a hallway, um, a tunnel. It doesn't matter what you see it as. But just move into that. Go as deep as you can, because when you go further into the tunnel, you're going to enter this expansive place, I call it the infinite place, the sacred space. Good. Now move into the front of your third eye, your sixth chakra, your brow chakra. I think that's the only one that has three different names to it. Good. Move in as deep as you can. Now go around to the back, move into the back of your third eye. Good, now just feel the energy. Now just see, form, intend, ask for a beam of energy to connect your heart chakra to your third eye, goes right up the middle of you. Now send that beam of energy straight up to the center of the universe. It knows where to go. And now straight down into the center of the earth. 
So you're now in your heart source and your job, according to Ama, is for us to learn to be in our heart source 24 seven. And now let's go into the healing lecture room. All of us are gathered there. It is also an infinite space. There is a floor of light below us, a canopy of light above us. There are pillars of light in each corner. I'm just looking to see what I see. Look and notice, sense, feel what is in your sacred, your healing lecture room. See if you notice different colors than I do. Okay. Angels surrounding us. We have angels from Raphael's band, Michael's band. Gabriel's band. Okay. Just breathe deeply. Connect with your healing team. Ask them to use the four foundational plugins to do any needed encodement work on each of the seven parts of the heart source. Good, your healing team is gathered around you. Now declare chakra spin, spin as fast as is safe for me. Breathe in energy from above and below. Your chakras are bringing in the above and below, bringing in that energy so that as the chakras spin, they're releasing congestion. And what I'm noticing, I usually do this outside of the healing lecture room, but what I'm noticing is there is a member of your healing team who is assisting and transmuting any congestion that is coming out of you. And I'm being told that team member has always been there and sometimes there's more than one. And there's also a member of the soul healing team who also assists in finding and bringing back to you pieces of yourself that you sent away at different times. In psychology, we call it dissociation. It's when you kind of go away. You don't want to deal with that. Well, here we're just calling it losing a part of yourself. And they're cleaning, repairing, and healing all pieces. And they're fully integrating all pieces within you. Good. So first, we're going to have our own healing circle. This means just us. So I'm going to just ask you to see yourself in your multidimensional self. Now, what this means is this could be your soul self, as you might see yourself that. For those who aren't familiar, your soul self is what Ama uses for the higher self. Call upon your soul self who contains all of the energy of your multitudes. And I do mean multitudes of incarnations. And that is what is joining the outside circle. And we ask also that any other beings that you would like to join the outside circle can do that. It can be family members who've passed on. It could be other spiritual beings who are important to you, such as Yeshua or Buddha, Metatron. I will tell you that I just received the message that the Cho hands of the rays are joining the circle. And now your third dimensional self. We're bringing your third dimensional self into, that's like my third dimensional self is known as Kathy. So she is going in there as my soul self is on the outside. 
both all of those different healing teams and incarnations, the energy that I've had and learned. And bring yourself in. Now, if you wish to name anyone in your realm, in your family, in your friends, people that you know about, and to place them in the circle, please unmute and mention them. That's fully acceptable. You also can just mentally state that and put them in. So I will start just to kind of break the ice. And then I challenge one of you who might be a little reluctant to go ahead and unmute yourself too when it's time. But I'm placing in my, my sister, Anna, who still, she's struggling with her grief. She, for those who don't know, she lost her husband. It's been almost four months now to COVID. I'm thinking of other people who are still struggling. Some of them are here with their grief and the loss of loved ones. I'm also placing in the center circle a dear friend of mine who her daughter, she just found out that her daughter's cancer has expanded. Okay. And I'm placing my great niece who is having continual difficulty from reactions to the COVID vaccine. And a cousin who has long-term COVID as well as a dear friend who has long-term COVID. And my dad who is aging, he's having difficulty in his aging process. He's 93, almost 94, next month, 94. And his wife who still has some side effects from different health things. Okay, somebody else. Be brave. I place my granddaughter Berlin. Great, thank you. With all my love. Yes. Anybody else? My son, Christopher, and his son, Shay. Christopher. And, and everybody who struggles with substance abuse disorders. Now that just resulted in my youngest brother joining the circle. He passed on. Gosh, I guess it's been 15 years ago. Diabetes and alcoholism don't go together very well. Nope. And he has joined the circle as he does whenever anybody with substance abuse comes up or musicians, he was a musician. So you have a powerful person joining here. Anyone else? A sister friend, Mary Flatley, who recently lost three family members. Another person with grief, three family members at one time or in a short period of time is so difficult. Anyone else? My brother, Bob, and, and his wife, Karen. Thank you. My friend, Ann Rachel, who has a, a severe kidney disorder. <clears throat> and uh, and her son, who are both Aquarians. <clears throat> okay. So I'm also going to place in, because I know there's people here that are struggling with that, family members who are going through divorce separation, asking for protection of the children, for people that are looking for jobs, a job that will suit them, take care of their family and bring them joy. Let's do it all at once. I'm getting healing from the sense of failure in relationship. Anybody else? I'll put in my uh, sister-in-law, Natalie, she's Ukrainian. She's here, but her mother is still in the Ukraine and she's very worried about her. Oh, I bet she is. Okay. Give you a couple more seconds. Uh, 
I'd like to have us all think good thoughts for my son who is flying across the country at this time. Blessings. And we ask his healing team to put a shield of energy around him that protects him from any energies and that includes microbes as he's flying across the country. Semi-permeable shield keeps out all the lower vibration stuff. Let's in the love. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, this time chakra spin and the whole purpose is to bring in energy from above and below and to go fill your chakras. And you can either hold your hands out physically, I'm gonna hold mine out physically or you can do that in your mind and send love to all of those there. I'm going to say a prayer. Ama and Abba, our mother, our father, God. We give you thanks first for the gift of life for ourselves and the gift of life of all those that we are holding within our healing circle. We ask you to send each of the people that we have in our mind and our hearts, send them the love at the exact vibration that is needed to bring healing to their body, to their mind, to their spirit. One of the great masters who walked this earth, Yeshua, had said, ask and you shall receive. And said, where two or more are gathered and we are multiples gathered and we are asking that ourselves and that our loved ones receive all the love we need at the vibration we need for healing and for integration of who it is we truly are. Now keep spinning your chakras, bringing in that energy from above and below and simply allow that energy to go out into the circle. Keep spinning. Simply stay in your heart and it all goes out to those that you've set your intention for. Deep breath, offer thanks for all that's being done for your loved ones and for you. Okay, just relax a little bit. And now see yourself and your third dimensional self stepping into the healing circle. Now, some of what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna thank um, Louise here. I think you're here as she sent me a video of something and it just resonated so strongly with a way that we can increase even more the work that we have done. We had powerful ceremony the last time in working with the Ukraine and we're going to do the same thing this time. But what I've been given, not but, and what I have been given is that we are going to see ourselves joining all that are gathered here, we have within us the divinity, as you know, that spark of divinity. And I think it gets larger and larger. All the clearing that we do by claiming who it is that we are. 
we are going to see ourselves now joining our spark of divinity with everyone else. And now our intention is to put a shield around the Ukrainians. We're going to have two different things going on. A shield around the Ukrainians. And I'm hearing and a special shield around the president of the Ukraine and his family. And join with their energy, join with their spark of divinity. We are also placing a shield around the Russians, especially the military, those that are on the ground we're asking for the changing of hearts, that those who are objecting to this invasion stand up with their truth. And to soften the heart of Putin and his military advisors. I call upon also the entire team of the guardian of the Ukraine to work with us and that we join with their energy. Okay, everybody, chakras spin. Spin at the exact vibration needed for us to do all that I have already said. And in this case, draw your sword. I am the sword and hold the sword of Archangel Michael to transmute any energies that are needed for transmutation. Spin your chakras, allow that energy to come in and be the sword. I am holding my sword outward as well as being the sword. And Ama and Abba, we know that everyone involved with this are your children, your creations. That includes Putin and whatever it is that is happening with him. We ask you to assist us in the sending of love of the vibration needed, and you're the one who knows what is needed. We offer our service for the healing of Eastern Europe. And as we do this, we ask that those who are needed gather together all of those who have already left their bodies and bring them home. Okay, everybody, chakra spin and just hold as long as you can. Well, we won't be doing it forever, but just to hold this. Remember, you don't have to do this Physically, you can do this in your mind and see yourself holding that space. And I just heard that any mantras or prayers that you want to say, just say them there in your heart, in your mind.
now Amma and Ava, I ask that my multidimensional self continue in the circle of healing and protection for the conflict between the Ukraine and Russia as we continue our day. And so it is. Take a deep breath. Okay. I can still feel that we're there holding that space. I hope you can too. So the next person that you hear, the next being that you hear coming in is the guardian of the Ukraine. And this is, excuse me, the guardians of the Ukraine, there is a masculine and there is a feminine energy that works as the guardian of each country, each village, each city, each family, the masculine and the feminine. They are going to speak to me as one energy coming in. Thank you. Thank you for the support that you are giving to the wonderful people of both countries. We ask you to continue giving that support. You can slip back in and join the circle of healing at any time spinning your chakras, bringing in love, saying whatever prayers you wish. You who work with the Divine Mother have powerful tools. Those who work with any spiritual energy have powerful tools. We're going to talk about two different levels. One level is what does this conflict mean for this world, not just for the Ukraine and for Russia? What is the greater significance of it? You have heard the Divine Mother say that all the lower vibration energy must be revealed before there can be ascension. It is being revealed in you. It is being revealed throughout the planet. Even the soil is revealing low vibration energy that has been caught within it by blood spilled for eons. What you are experiencing is the representation of several energies. One is greed. The other is the thirst for power over someone. The third is the Desire for control. Yes, that's part of power, but the desire from con control. And the fourth, what you are seeing on another level is that what happens to someone, we are speaking of the president of Russia in this case, what happens with someone who is so empty inside, who grew up so empty without the love that he needed, that he must fill that emptiness 
with what he thinks will satisfy him, and that is power. That is power. You have the opportunity and have taken the opportunity to be able to send love energy, which is power to those who are misusing power. You have called forth and this whole conflict is calling forth for people to take a stand of what is truth. It has happened. You may have heard some of this. It has happened that some soldiers have refused to kill. It has happened where some soldiers have said, you are of me. And some of those soldiers have been killed by those who are they are disagreeing with. People have neglected of how powerful the president of Russia is. There are several people up on this planet who have such extreme power and do so not in their heart, but from their second and third chakras that it causes damage. The two most powerful are the president of the United States, the president of Russia, quickly followed by the prime minister of England and the leaders in China and Korea. These are also the ones who need the greatest support. Those who are, as some say, rattling their sabers are the ones whose heart are most in need of love. You may have heard of some people saying, do not send them love as that is energy of power that they will misuse. Send them love. It is the love that they need. Send love of protective energy as you did today, as you are continuing to do as you listen to the message that we have for you. Every country has their own path, just as you have your own path. That is why there are guardians of each country to assist. Unfortunately, not every leader or should we say leaders of every country, listens to their heart. The leader of the Ukraine listens to his heart. He has been protected in many ways. Continue protecting him. He is vital to what is happening. But know that even if he is eliminated from the physical, that that event would cause such an uprising. That would bring together even more the energy of the Ukrainians. We ask you to send only love and do not muddy the energy with fear 
our anger, no matter what happens. It is important to realize that this is more than a third dimensional battle. You worked with spiritual love fair when you send that love to others. We call upon you and others to be only within your heart, to only send love. Feel, experience, know that there is love. Yes, you may become aware of tragedy, of blood. Do not allow that to deter you. A metaphor that might assist. You are as surgeons who need to sever a tumor or repair a hole within the body. And there is blood when that happens. What you do, what everyone upon this planet who is sending prayer and love, and there are numerous. And we are in gratitude. You don't always know what the outcome is. You are not alone in what you do. And the people of our country, as well as the country of the Russians are not alone. Take in the information that you need to learn from this experience and what it is that you need to do. We tell you, first of all, you need to do what you did today to be grounded in the love that created the planet and to be grounded in the love that is holding the planet in place as well as the galaxies in place. That is your connection to above and below. Be grounded, and we realize that we're using grounded in ways that aren't usually used. Be grounded within your heart as that is the center of you. When you notice that you are sending anger outward, use Michael's sword to stop that. When you notice that you are crying tears for the people who are no longer in the physical, honor your tears and honor them and help to find them. Call upon their angels and their guides. Call to their very souls to look for the light. Stand in the places where the ground is being saturated with blood and destruction and using Michael's sword or simple prayer and asking the Divine Mother and the Divine Father to transmute all pain, all suffering, all death, all anger, all terror, all rage to transmute it to the highest love possible. It is time to do this upon this planet as the planet will be rising to ascension and you will be also. No, not tomorrow. There is work to do and you are examples for the galaxy. This is the time you have been preparing for, for decades, actually for eons, as you have learned and gathered all that you have been given. 
remember always to be in that place of love. You will be going through your own process. There is no judgment when you fall out of that place of love and you feel powerless. That is when you have fallen out of your heart source. Simply go back. We thank you for joining the forces in spiritual love fair. There are more with you than you know. And our people here need you, even if they don't know. Our blessings to you, even our joy to you. We thank you. Okay, this is Kathy. Um, I want to share something with you that I discovered yesterday. I was reading something on Facebook and somebody else said it. You know, many people wonder how, how we can help. And some people say, well, who would I like send money to? So you can do this when you don't have those resources to send money. But one of the things that I discovered and I did yesterday is that you can actually, those of you who have the means to do this, can actually go to Airbnb and search for the Ukraine and look for private citizens, not big corporations, not hotels, that need money. They won't tell you they need money, but I, I am scheduled to be in the Ukraine next weekend for about two days. And of course, I'm not going there physically, but that's what I paid for. There are many of the people that are have their homes set on Airbnb that are taking in refugees. And this is a way that you can help them if you choose to do so. So I just wanted to let those of you know, I mean, you can do a night, you can do two nights, it doesn't matter. And that's one way to be able to help. Just be sure that if you do choose to do that, that there are many reviews, because I ran across some that didn't have any reviews, which means they're new things and those could be scams. So if they have reviews and those of you who aren't familiar with Airbnb, there's something called super hosts and look to see if there are super hosts with many reviews. Cause I found one that said super host and there were no reviews, but just look. And if that is your choice to be able to support in that way, that's one way to be able to get money immediately. You sign up immediately like for my, my trip to the Ukraine is next week. And at the end of my trip, they will get paid. So as soon as you can do it, like you don't wanna sign up for four months in advance because they won't get paid for four months. So whatever it is that you need, that's one way to do it. And I'm sure that you may find other ways, but I just wanted to share that with you. It'll help the refugees that are there. So that is what we have for today. Do, would anybody like to make any comments or anything? And just speak up if you do, because I don't have access to. I, I would. <clears throat> I was please. particularly pleased that <clears throat> there was the awareness of the emptiness in Putin. I've been reading about his childhood and the, the depth of the emptiness is so huge that when I do my prayers about what's going on over there, I focus on healing that little baby because that's where it all started. And he needs, he doesn't know love. He hasn't experienced love. He hasn't been healed. And so he's putting it out on everybody. So thank you. Thank you. 
And some of you may feel that pulling motivation within you to give support in certain ways, like if you're called to Putin or you're called to a military leader or you're called to the soldiers or you're called to whatever. Some of you may be called to be part of the group that assists in bringing, being sure that loved ones are brought back home, those who have passed on from this. Just listen, listen to that and do. And if you have any questions about what to do, let me know and I'll be glad to answer anything. Kathy? Yes. I, I have a question. Uh, I, I just thought that was such a profound message from the guardians, but it made me wonder, what do the guardians do to help the Ukraines? Well, that's a good question. Let me ask what they get. They're telling me that they do hold love into the area. They do give support to those who call out to them. That they are working to send messages to the hearts of those who are needing support. And that includes the president of Ukraine and his family. They will often, and that's the, our guardians too here in the United States and Canada, they will often put a shield of energy around to prevent energy from outside influences, even outside of this, this particular galaxy of coming in and causing some problems. Their main area of guardians is to garden, is to guard the love that people are living from. Does that help? Yes, a lot. Thank you. And I wonder, do they work with Archangel Azrael in helping to send the, the dead souls home? They work with everyone, they said. Because I've been personally trying to contact Archangel Azrael to share my light. And I, I just want to be sure all the light that's needed is going to those souls who are, have not only died right now, but as other people have said from prior wars. Yes. Are the concentration camps or whatever. All kinds I, of things. I want to have maximum, and I call to my community of angels to amplify my beacon of light, to make it as big and bright as it could be, to guide the soul so they will see it. That's good, Cleo. So yes, they're all geared up, all of them. There are many, many working together. And when I think somebody said, and when I said many, many, they said, there are thousands of us. There are tens of thousands of us. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay. Remember, be in your heart, your heart source. If fear comes, tell it to go away that that's not where you are. And know also that there is joy connected with the love. I hope one day that I'll be able to stay at that Airbnb in the Ukraine. Blessings to all of you. If you wanna unmute, wave goodbye to everyone, please do so. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone. Blessings, Thank everyone. Blessings. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. So glad I'm here. Blessings. Bye. Thank you. Blessings. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Much love. Bye. Much love. Bye-bye. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you, guardians.